Thank you for joining us again. God bless you. Um, I pray and trust that uh, you are well. Amen. And uh, it's good to have you join up with us once again. God is faithful. Amen. You know, you could have been anywhere at this time. You know, any, you know, anything could have stopped you from, from joining in. But here we are. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will be glad in it as David sang. Hallelujah. Praise God. We give God the glory and all the honor. Amen. I'm so excited uh, to be with you today uh, once again. And uh, we are going to uh, have a great time uh, together. Praise God. God has so much for us in stock today. Amen. He never, never, never lets us come in his presence and then live empty handed. Our father is a good father. He always has things to give to us. He always has bountiful blessings pouring upon us all the time. Glory be to God. Amen. So let's just start in the word of prayer right now. Father in heaven, we are grateful once again, Lord, for your faithfulness and for your goodness. For us to be here is a celebration of your attributes of love, faithfulness, goodness, and your grace, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, that it's not of our own effort that we are here today. For we know many are the people that would have loved to be in our position, but they have not. So we just want to acknowledge you this morning, this afternoon, and this evening, wherever we are, oh God, to acknowledge and to worship you for who you are. Thank you, Lord, that we can gather in this manner. And Lord, we are standing on your promise where you said through your son Jesus Christ, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. So Father, we are gathered in your name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And we know and we know beyond the ancient of doubt and we believe that you are in our midst. We are connected wherever we are in different places of the world. Hallelujah. Through this uh, internet media. And thank you that the power of your spirit is moving in and through these words and impacting us. And you are fellowshipping with us wherever we are. So, Father, thank you. Thank you for your presence right now. We acknowledge your presence. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Marabo Shakaramandaya. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just where you are right now, just begin to acknowledge God's presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Remember, the greatest fellowship that you have, hallelujah, is with him. Wherever you are right now, is with him. Hallelujah. I know you are fellowshipping with me right now as you watch me. Hallelujah. I know you are fellowshipping with other brothers and sisters on, 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 the, on the internet. Hallelujah. Who are watching alongside with us. But, but here we are. Hallelujah. Praise God. There is a presence of God right where you are. Glory be to God. Makashika Ramama. Just spent a few moments just, just thanking him and praising him. Hallelujah. For this beautiful day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. And you and I are glad in it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just acknowledge him. Just praise him. Just thank him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We give you the praise, O oh God. We worship you. We magnify your holy name. You are worthy of all praise, O oh God. We magnify you, O oh God. Maraba shakara mandoro bosataya. Yara bo shikiri andara mama mama kurobo shikiri andara makaya. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. I give you praise. I thank you for this beautiful, wonderful day. Sing a new song to the Lord. Hallelujah. Sing a new song to him. Just sing a new song to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just sing a new song to him. Hallelujah. Just sing a new song to the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a beautiful day. Forget everything that has happened this morning, this afternoon, this day. Hallelujah. All the distractions of the enemy. Just forget all that. Right now, this is time for him and you. Hallelujah. Just worship him. Just bless him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Mashaka rabo shandara masitere andara makaya. O raba shekiri andara mandurubu. O riandara bashekiri andurubu shikiri andara mama makaya. 
Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. There is none like unto thee. You are worthy, O oh God. You are worthy, O oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, we love this, this, this scripture in, in, um, in, 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 in John chapter 4, verse 24, which says that, uh, and God is a spirit, and them that worship him, Worship in, in the spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. But you know the, 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 the message version actually puts it this way. It says those who worship him must do it out of their very being, their spirits, their true selves in adoration. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. What a beautiful way of putting it. And this is what you know we are here to do. This is what we are here to do. We just want to worship God because God is a spirit. Hallelujah. And therefore, you know, we just want to adore him out of our true being. Hallelujah. From from, from the abundance of our hearts. Hallelujah. From the inside of us. Let the streams of living waters just flow out. And those that's the spirit of the living God. That's the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Just, just allow yourself, you know, allow, allow the Holy Spirit to just move in and through you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this beautiful day. Hallelujah. Thank him for something. Thank you, Lord. Thank him for something. Thank him for your family. Thank him for your children. Hallelujah. Thank him for your job. Thank him for, for, your, for your aspirations. Hallelujah. For your dreams. Hallelujah. Just thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Hallelujah. See a thankful heart. Hallelujah. You know, you know, you know, it's, 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 it's healing to, to your soul. Hallelujah. And, and God loves a thankful hearts. Hallelujah. I know there are many things that we we can we can we can, we can complain about and there's so many things. The endless, hallelujah. But out of all these things, there's one thing we can do, and that important thing is just to say, Lord, thank you for the gift of life. I am here today. I am here today. Thank you, Lord. I can praise you. I've got breath. Hallelujah. I've got a voice. Hallelujah. I can sing unto you. So it just says thank him and then develop this art of thanking God, praising him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We give you the praise and the glory, Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And, and just begin to pray for the others that are, are also watching uh, uh, with us, that are fellowshipping with us, and just begin to speak that more can link into this and, and be blessed as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Begin to pray and just bless God for this, uh, for this broadcast. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That whoever will watch this, hallelujah, will be impacted will be impacted. I believe that. I believe that. And that's why we get in testimonies of people that are watching these things and they are dropping us some 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 testimonies. You know, just begin to pray that Father God, hallelujah, that this 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 line, this line is is is, is Holy Spirit anointed. It's Holy Spirit ordained and it's just it's uninterrupted. Hallelujah. It's reaching out to people that God wants them to hear this glory be to god hallelujah it's a wonderful time that we are in wonderful time hallelujah glory be to god begin to see wonderful things through this time hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah 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 thank you lord never been a time such as this and we give you the praise and the glory you are you are the master of seasons and times so you know these times that we are in and we thank you god that you are moving so much in and through us hallelujah in various ways in this time we give you praise and the glory thank you lord breathe upon this service lord with your holy spirit hallelujah Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your companionship. Even in this studio as I'm sat here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I welcome you in this place. May you increase 
as I decrease and do your work. Move and in and through me, Lord, and touch your people as they hear my voice. As they watch this, may they hear the voice of Jesus. May they feel your touch and your power in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Thank you once again for joining in. If you are in your room with your family, just say hello to them once again and say, well done for joining in hallelujah glory be to god if you are alone just pat yourself on the back and say oh, you've done well uh, to join to this live service and you will not be disappointed because god has never let down anyone who believes in him glory to god hallelujah hallelujah amen 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 praise god praise god well um We've got uh, wonderful things to, to do today uh, as well. So we, we, we are expectant as uh, to what the Lord um, is going to be, you know, going to be doing uh, today uh, through everything that we have. Praise God. We have um, here some things that we're going to do. Uh, we, 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 we have some, uh, we've got a couple of testimonies that we're going to share and then uh, we will just, uh, you know, pray together. Uh, we'll have some intercession and then a bit of time of worship. And then I'll bring the word of encouragement. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what we're going to do. And uh, in all these things, the Holy Spirit is going to move in His power and is with us. Amen. Glory be to God. And it's because you are joining up as well. Glory be to God. You know, the Bible says that and he has, um, you know, filled us with his spirit. We are blended by his spirit. His spirit is inside of me. It's inside of you. It's inside of everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. So when we come together like this, hallelujah, we are connected by his spirit. And that's why things can happen. Whatever we are, glory be to God. We are expectant people of his goodness. We expect to see the goodness of the Lord all the time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Well, um, I'm just going to, uh, uh, you know, share some, some testimonies uh, with, with you. Uh, some of that we, are, we have received uh, uh, during this time. Uh, let me just, uh, uh, I think I, uh, I, I misarranged my uh, PowerPoints a little bit, but there we are. Well, uh, it's always wonderful to have people uh, send us uh, testimonies and, 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 you know, with, with regard to uh, what is happening, you know, you know, in their lives. When they connect with us and, uh, and we pray with them, hallelujah, or they watch uh, our, our broadcasts and, 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 and they, uh, they respond to that. And then they send us this is one testimony of a pastor that you know I've, I've been praying with, and uh, you know, and actually, uh, uh, you know, this pastor even yesterday uh, we we had a, a chat, and uh, I was encouraging him uh, just to, to 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 take care, to be to be careful, and to be wise. Amen. Praise God. But look at the testimony because he got attacked uh, with, with uh, um, the, the virus, um, you know, a, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and, um, and and God has healed him. And he sent this testimony. He says, I'm now healed from COVID uh, that I had last month. Uh, I'm healed by the grace of God uh, through your prayers. I had heavy breathing problems. I thought I would lose my life. Thank God he healed me. Uh, really, the Lord, he touched me and healed me. Praise God. What a wonderful testimony of healing. And, and there are you know, thousands, maybe millions, of testimonies like this, God is healing people uh, from, from COVID. There are more people recovering and being healed than those numbers that we are seeing of people that um, you know are, are, are losing their lives. So we thank God for testimonies like this. You know, just to see, you know, you know that God's healing power is at work. Hallelujah! Through this uh, situation, God's healing power is moving and is healing thousands and thousands of people and it's just a honor and a pleasure that we can share here at City Family Church this testimony. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. 
Amen. And then uh, we I have uh, this other testimony here uh, from uh, um, a family that uh, I've been praying with, uh, you know, somewhere in, um, in, in Botswana, and, and uh, sent me this testimony. It says, uh, Morning, Pastor Sam. Just wanted to share with you some great news. I was recently appointed to the board of the company, which is mandated to administer uh, the public officer's pension fund in uh, uh, the BW is, is Botswana. Uh, the, the, the fund is the largest in Botswana and second in Africa in terms of assets. It's a huge responsibility, but I'm definitely up for it, and I'll give it my all. Thank you so much for your prayers and encouragement. Next time you visit, you won't be able to keep up with the changes. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Wonderful testimony of some you know, family um, that we know, uh, you know, and uh, they, they actually have been through uh, our church here in Coventry, and uh, we, we keep praying for them. They follow us all the time. They watch us from Botswana, and, uh, and, and we, we pray for them. And here is wonderful testimony. Even in the time of the plague, even in the time of the pandemic, God is blessing his people mightily and greatly in career-wise, financially. Our God is a great God. Amen. Hallelujah. He does great things. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Well, those are the two uh, testimonies that I wanted to share with you today. But we do have great many testimonies. Please send us your testimonies. Send us your testimonies. Hallelujah. You can either do it through our contact on our website, www.cityfamilychurch.com. Every testimony is a testimony. Don't you ever just think, oh, I don't have a testimony like that. No, your testimony is a great testimony. Even just thank God that I'm alive today is a testimony. Bring us that testimony. We would like to share it. Hallelujah. Even in the house, God is doing great things in City Family Church. Please uh, share your testimony with us, how your week has been, uh, so a testimony can encourage others. Amen. Glory be to God. I can testify that I've had a great week. Uh, you know, this last seven days, God has been faithful. There have been some challenges, but God has given me the grace to overcome those challenges. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I can testify, you know, through uh, challenges at, at work and uh, and, and, and all the, uh, the, the responsibilities and the things that I've got to, to keep up with that, you know, you know sometimes I, I just have to, to sit back and say, Lord, you take care of these things. You know, I trust you. Hallelujah. And you never let me down. And he comes through and it's, it's, it's giving me the peace. So many times I have seen this. So I have learned to trust in him. That's my testimony. Glory be to God. So you too have a testimony. Amen. So send us those testimonies. Glory be to God. Send us those testimonies. We would like to hear from you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Maybe tonight we can hear more testimonies from you, City Family Church, that will be joining in by Zoom. Amen. Let's have a fellowship. Uh, bring a word. Bring a song. Bring something to exhort one another. Let's just fellowship together and thank God for what he is doing. Thank you, those of you that have sent us these testimonies. Uh, you know, both of them have come from outside the UK. Praise God and keep up uh, the good work and um, keep joining with us. Praise God and this connection, this connection, it will bring blessings into your life and into our lives as well. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The church at Philip Hyde were so blessed because they connected in the grace which was on Apostle Paul. Glory be to God. They just made a decision to connect with him. Glory be to God. And they became they were one of the smallest churches, you know, you know, in, in the early church, but they were so powerful and they were so blessed. Hallelujah. So there's power in connection. So let's connect together. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not just connecting financially. We're talking about connecting spiritually. Hallelujah. And God will do the rest. He will release everything upon our lives. We will have plenty to share with one another because of that connection. So share with each other. They share in our victories and in our testimonies as well. Praise God. Excuse me in a minute. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, um, 
Well, I uh, will just move on to uh, our next uh, thing that will be the uh, uh, prayer and intercession. We have uh, 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 this uh, slide here that we, we, we pray through um, every, every Sunday. And we want to do that uh, today as well. Praise God. We want to do that today as well. So uh, we, we look at this. Uh, we stand on these scriptures in Matthew 18 verse 19. Which says, again, I say unto you that if two people shall agree, two people shall agree, two people shall agree, and we are more than two. Hallelujah. On earth, and where we are, where are we rather, we are on earth. Amen. Glory be to God. As touching anything, oh wow, open promise, open promise. Hallelujah from our Father. Yeah. That they shall ask, we need to ask. Glory be to God. And what will be the outcome? It shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Thank you, Jesus, for leaving us with this great promise and assurance that our prayers of agreement, hallelujah, and prayers of asking, glory be to God, as touching anything, anything, glory be to God. So we're not going to be shy in asking for things. Anything you have promised, it shall be done, our Father. But we must agree. And we must pray. And we must uh, ask. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There is an if there. Today I'll be talking about uh, a scripture that has got an if. So if it's a condition, so we're going to have to do that. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we're going to agree and we're going we're gonna to ask as touching anything. And we've got some few things that are included into anything uh, on there that we're going to pray. They qualify into anything hallelujah praying for the leaders of the nations qualifies into anything amen praying for the well-being of people qualifies into anything praying for the restoration of the nations qualifies into an anything and praying for the souls qualifies as well into anything hallelujah how about first john chapter 5 verse 14 and 15 i love this scripture hallelujah because it talks about the confidence he says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything, there we go again, anything, glory be to God, according to his will. Praise God. And the will of God is not difficult to understand. We are praying for things that are pleasing to God. Hallelujah. We are praying for things that Jesus himself prayed for. Therefore, we are doing the will of the Father. Amen. Because Jesus himself is the one who told us, and he said, he said, I have come from heaven to the earth to do the will of the Father. So everything Jesus ever did that we can find recorded in the word of God that Jesus did this thing is the will of the Father. Jesus prayed. So praying is the will of the Father. Jesus fed the people. So helping to feed people is the will of the Father. Jesus crossed the people. Helping crossing people is the will of the Father. Jesus healed people. So praying for healing is the will of the Father. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. So again, what we have here in this slide here is the will of the Father. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And the scripture goes on to say, you know, when we pray according to his will, so we know we are praying according to the will of the Father, so there's no problem about that. But look at the outcome. He hears us. Oh, glory be to God. How do you feel? Just know that God hears your prayer. Hallelujah. Ooh, that then should uh, uh, encourage you to know that your petitions have been granted. Amen. You want to pray even more and more. And then we have Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, which says, If my people and you and I, God is addressing us. God is speaking to you and me. We are his people. Come on, somebody. If you consider yourself uh, included in that, my people, then this is for you. Hallelujah. This is for me. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and repent, then I will hear from heaven, forgive and heal their land. Then, again, is a condition. We're going to have to do what is before that. Amen. Praise God. So I am his people. I am his. I am called by his name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And therefore, if I do this, which I'll be doing in a minute, I'll be praying. I'll be praying with humility, asking for God to forgive me and forgive all them people that have wrong, done wrong things. But I'm standing in the gap 
and I'll be seeking the face of God. And just because I am called by his name, I qualify to do these things. I qualify to call upon God to heal the land, to forgive us, and also to hear from heaven. Glory be to God. So just now, right now, begin to pray. The prayer uh, are there. We just, just uh, for a few minutes, be, pray for the leaders of this world. Hallelujah. Pray for the leaders in, of your country. Glory be to God. And, you know, for the government leaders, pastors. And when I say spiritual leaders, I mean pastors, evangelists, those that are leading churches and the flock. Hallelujah. They are on the front line. You know, you know God has called us to... To, uh, to be there for people. Uh, we may not be there physically, but, you know, we could be there through phone calls. And But there are parts of the world where, you know, what we have right now, the telephones, the video calls, the internet are not there. So the only way that the pastors, hallelujah, are going to see these people is to go to them physically. And that puts them in the front line of, of, of this whole thing. Of this open name. So let's pray for them. They are protected. Amen. Hallelujah. They are protected. Let's pray for the medical people. Hallelujah. The scientists that God will give them wisdom. Hallelujah. God will give them wisdom. Divine wisdom. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And also the civic and community leaders. Those that are moving around distributing things. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for the well-being of people. People are hating physically, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. That the healing of God will just touch them. And let's pray for the evangelism, the souls that are coming in. Hallelujah. Those that are, uh, have given their life to Jesus, them that have recommitted their life to Jesus, through all this online evangelism that's going on. Let's pray for them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The harvest is so plentiful, Jesus said. So plentiful. Glory to God. Even more plentiful now. Hallelujah. So that should encourage us to pray. And let's pray for economic recovery, health systems, education systems for all the nations. Glory be to God. So where you, wherever you are, glory be to God, just begin to pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The cameras will be on the, uh, on the slide. So begin to pray right now. And then I'll say amen in just a few minutes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory to God. 
Thank you, Lord. Yara Masa to Rianda Ramaka. Yuri and Shikiri and Ramama, Shikiri and Ramama. O Ramaso to Rianda Ramama. Yara Vagan Terry Bukaya. Thank you, Lord. Yara Vashikiri and Ramama. O Ramaso to Rianda. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I believe that uh, you have had um, um, a great time of intercession. We just want to encourage you. Please, um, you can go over this uh, uh, slide and just uh, keep uh, praying for these things. We need to pray. We need to intercede. And, um, you know, tonight as well, I think, as a church, we're going to spend a bit of time to pray for our nation. You know, we, we've we've gone through uh, a very uh, sobering, um, uh, stat, you know, situation in terms of statistics of the number of people that um, have died from the uh, the coronavirus in the United Kingdom. That number exceeded this week a hundred thousand. You know, and uh, it's not what anybody was expecting. So it's come really as a shock uh, to the nation, and uh, and we just we just wanna uh, continue to pray. Uh, for peace and, and comfort and assurance uh, over this nation. Amen. And and God is in control. So continue to pray, uh, you know, church, continue to pray, beloved. And, um, you know, our God is in control. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what we're going to do is that we're going to now enter into the time of worship. Uh, I'm going to pray some music. Amen. Um, that has been... Um, uh, uh, you know, played by our, um, our 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 brother in the church, um, brother Dallin. So I'm gonna play that music, and then we can um, we can we can uh, you know just sing along and and worship the Lord, Amen. And that will be wonderful. That will be will be great. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we're gonna pray. Um, we're gonna sing uh, this song, God our God. Uh, amen. Praise God and just uh, make sure that I've got uh, the, the volume okay. Praise God. Uh, this uh, song, God, all tightened into wine. Uh, there's no one like you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God.
praise, praise God, praise God. Um, I've just been told by um, the technical people in the background that um, we can't quite, uh, we can hear the music uh, being played, but you can't, you can't see the, uh, uh, the, the lyrics themselves. Uh, this song is, our God is greater, our God is stronger. Uh, God, you are, uh, you, you have right now everything. So maybe what I will do is, um, uh, I'll let it play on, uh, uh, if, if, if you can hear it from uh, the, 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 the laptop itself, um, that, that, that'll, be, that'll, 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 be, that'll be fine. Well, we, we want to apologize for uh, those uh, technical hitches, so we will um, uh, skip the, uh, the, the present worship bit because we only have the sound and we will try to, to sort that one out uh, later on. Just get back my, my, my PowerPoint now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, yeah, it, is, it, is, uh, it is all well. And um, we will go on to, uh, um, I just want to, uh, um, to bring the word uh, today. So we will skip the, uh, the, the worship part of, of it because we've got technical problems with the, uh, the music that we, we, we arranged to, to play. Amen. We will do that. We'll sort that uh, 
uh, in the next next week. So praise God, Hallelujah. And um, just um, um, praise the Lord, Amen. So let's um, uh, just um, again uh, comment the word of God into um, into prayer, Father. I just uh, thank you for this opportunity to bring this word to your people. The word is um, breathed upon, uh, is sanctioned by the Holy Spirit. And Father, thank you for using me as a vessel to bring it to your people. This word will encourage your people. It will bring, it will bring uh, faith. It will bring healing to their bodies, uh, to their souls, and to their spirits. It will bring victory in their lives in the name of Jesus. So Father, I give you praise and the glory. Sweet Holy Spirit, touch and move upon your people as they with faith receive this word in Jesus name amen amen hallelujah glory be to God well I hope that you've been uh, um, uh, blessed by uh, the series that we've been doing um, since um, uh, we resumed our our services um, online this year and um, the last three weeks we've been looking at uh, the series that we've entitled running the 2021 race we are almost coming to the end of our series i might have one more to do next week or this might be the last one we'll see how the lord leads us on this as i said earlier on god has just been revealing these things to me and uh, uh, as i as i seek him uh for the word to bring to the people and he keeps saying i want you to build on this i want you to bring this you're still not done with three series of running the race of 2021 and last week the same thing happened he gave me part four to build on what we said last week hallelujah remember last week we looked at how to be relentless in in pursuing the goals that god has set before us the goals that god has set for you and i in 2021 remember 2021 we are calling it a race hallelujah we're gonna have to run this race the way God wants us to run it. Amen. Glory to be God. We're going to run the race of 2021 in Him. Glory be to God. In God. Hallelujah. And as long as we keep running the race in God, hallelujah, we know who is running the race for us. God Himself. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we are doing this race in Him. It's in Him. Hallelujah. Somebody said to yourself, in Him I am running this race. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, so today, I just want to look at uh, um, another aspect of running this race. And this is the character to continue. Hallelujah. Somebody said to yourself, the character to continue. Praise God. Last week, we looked at uh, you know, the, the need to be relentless. And, and before that, we looked at the importance of having goals a goal that you can aspire to glory be to god hallelujah and before that we looked at the importance of retrospecting on what is before hallelujah on what is behind rather in order for us to move forward so you can see these series are just flowing and flowing and flowing into 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 what uh uh, uh we, we are gonna do today and I want to encourage everyone, probably that is joining for the first time this time round, to just uh, go back on our website and listen to all these series. Part 1, Part 2, Part 3 last week, and then we are into this one. You will be blessed, you will see how they are connecting into each other, and I tell you, you will be running your race like never before. Because I can feel it. Even as I bring this word myself, I'm being so blessed. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I'm running. I'm running. I'm running in him. Glory be to God. So today, I am going to teach about running the race 2021. The part four is with the character to continue. This other factor, having the character to continue. Glory be to God. And I want to invite you to this scripture in uh, uh in in john uh, chapter 8 verse 31 glory be to god john chapter 8 verse 31 praise be to god 
and the scripture says, Then Jesus said to those Jews which believed in him, If ye continue in my word, hallelujah, then ye are my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Now, you see that in this scripture here, I have that one word I have included in the title of my message, the character to continue. The character to continue. So Jesus is saying to the Jews which believed in him, the Jews which believed in him. And before that, in verse 30, the Bible says many other people believed in him. But amongst the many who believed in him, there were also these Jews who believed in him. And these were some of them that were being now prepared for the ministry of discipleship. And this is what now Jesus says to them as an exhortation. He says, if ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. Hallelujah. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Let me just say this. You see, in this scripture here, we have the word if. If is a conditional word. And the condition in this scripture, in this exhortation to Jesus, is to continue. That's the condition. And when we continue, or rather, when the, if, if these disciples continue, what happens? Then they become. Hallelujah. Then they become. So, having the character to continue makes you become. Let me say that again. Having the character to continue results in you becoming something. Hallelujah. To continue leads into becoming. Now, this word continue, we can connect it to what we learned last week, which is the word relentless, to be relentless. And we looked at so many words in the, in the, in the, in the dictionary that mean that word relentless. And interesting enough, one of the words that we read out about to be relentless is to continue, is to be unceasing. Glory be to God. So today I just want to build on that and I want to talk about this character, this character of continuing. This character of continuing. You see, the character of continuing, brothers and sisters, is not just a cosmetic word. The, the word relentless is not just one of these nice cosmetic words. No, it is a word that entails developing a character to continue. Glory be to God. So the word relentless is such a powerful word, and it entails developing the character to continue. Hallelujah. That means there is no quitting, and, and it's absolutely essential for us to understand that if we are going to be relentless in pursuing our goals, we've got to develop this mentality, this character, to continue. And to continue simply means to be unceasing and not quitting. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The very fact that Jesus said to his disciples that if ye continue, it means in the mind of Jesus, he knew there would be people who would feel the, 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 the edge to quit. Those who would feel to give up. Those who would feel to give in. So that's why Jesus says, if ye continue, you shall become. So to continue brings us to becoming. 
Hallelujah. So it is important that if we are going to be relentless, it's not a word that we're just going to say, I am relentless, I'm relentless. Yes, you are relentless. But alongside being relentless, the, the base, the foundation of being relentless is developing the character to continue. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And this is what uh, the, the, the book of Hebrews says. It says, having done, I mean the book of Ephesians, it says, having done everything to stand, stand therefore. Hallelujah. This is developing the character of continuing. Having done everything to stand, you continue to stand. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You see, Jesus said certain words to his disciples again in, in John chapter 16, verse 33. This is what he said. He says, I am saying these things to you so that you may have peace. In this world, you will have troubles. But take heart. Be of good cheer because I have overcome. Glory be to God. Brothers and sisters, I'm not here. I wish I could be here to tell you that 2021, your race of 2021 will be as smooth as a smoothie drink. But Jesus himself, you know, didn't say that. He looked into the eyes of the disciples who believed in him. And he said to them that I want to tell you this. I wish I didn't have to say this, but I have have to say it but because it is the truth in this world there's one thing that you're gonna have in your 2021 race there's one thing that you're gonna have you're gonna have some trouble but be of good cheer because I have overcome so what is Jesus trying to say to the disciples he is saying put on the character to continue when trouble comes along Hallelujah. Put on the character to continue when trouble comes along. And that's what will give you the impetus to be relentless. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus could have easily insulated these new believers from trouble. He had the power to do it. But he did not insulate them from trouble. He warned them. Of trouble to come but he said to them if you put on the character to continue despite the trouble you will still become my disciples you shall overcome so take heart glory be to God hallelujah listen to me brothers and sisters this is important for us to understand we expect the goodness of God always to come alongside us. That is our faith. We expect our victory. Because the Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, that whatever is born of God overcometh the world. Whoever is born of God overcometh the world. That is you and I. So despite the trouble, we are expected to overcome. So victory is an expectation. But however, we must anticipate on this race some trouble. That's why Jesus said it, that in this world you will have trouble. It's one thing to be expectant of victory. But alongside that, we should anticipate that we have an enemy who is looking to always distract us from our goals, from our race. And this trouble will show up. But that's why we need to develop the character to continue. Hallelujah. Somebody say praise be to God. And that is the exhortation for today. Developing the character to continue. Glory be to God. We're not here to teach you. I'm not here to talk to you about expecting trouble. Expecting trouble is not of God. We expect victory. But we anticipate that trouble can come along the way. Because Jesus said it. And when that comes along the way, as long as we have developed the character to continue, 
we will become. Hallelujah. If ye continue, ye shall become my disciples indeed. The principle of continuing is the law that governs success. It works in everything. The farmer always has a harvest because he has the character to continue seeding, to continue sowing. The moment he breaks that process of continuing to sow, one point he will not have the harvest. So the principle of continuing is the one of the important laws that governs success. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So Jesus is saying to the disciples, if ye continue in my word, you shall become my disciples indeed. Glory be to God. So that means if you continue in something else as well, you will become that thing as well. Hallelujah. So if you continue in the wrong things, as long as you are fulfilling the principle of continuing, you will become. But we are those that will continue in the word and we will become his disciples indeed. Glory be to God. See, when Jesus taught those new believers these words, he had in mind, and remember, these were the new Jewish believers. The new Jewish believers. So for Jesus to look into their eyes and say, If ye continue, ye shall be my disciples. Jesus could see that these new Jewish believers, they were going to face along the way, even when he is gone, some immense pressure from the Jewish community. There's going to be immense pressure. They are going to face a lot of uh, 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 criticism, a lot of opposition from the their, their, their Jewish pairs and families and the Jewish system. The Apostle Paul himself alluded to this a lot about the pressure that his background of Judaism had on his conversion and on his ministry. So that's why Jesus looks at these new disciples who believed in him and he says to them, if ye continue in my word, then ye shall become my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth and the truth you know shall set you free. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praised be the name of the Lord. Somebody say, developing the character to continue. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And in Matthew chapter 13, this is exactly the same words that Jesus said to the disciples again in verse 21. This is when he was talking about the parable of the sower. These are the seeds that fell on the hard rock because they did not have enough depth of the soil to deepen their roots. They grew up okay. They were excited, but eventually they, 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 they lost their ground. What was Jesus meaning about this? He explained that and said, these are the people who received the word of God with so much joy. But when trouble or persecution came or comes, because of the word, they quickly fall away. They quickly do what? They fall away. Due to what? Due to trouble and persecution coming their way. So what had he told them in John chapter 16 verse, verse 3? He said, in this world you will have trouble. So we anticipate on this race of 2021 trouble, but we expect victory in Jesus name hallelujah and you and I shall not be them that when trouble or persecution come 
you will quickly fall away. That's the reason why God is bringing these things to us by the Holy Spirit, revealing these principles of teachings that when you develop the character to continue, because we anticipate trouble could be around the corner, you will not fall away. You will continue. You will be relentless and you will pursue your goals and you shall achieve. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So there will be trouble and persecution along the way. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I remember the days when I lived in Japan. Um, I learned about the, the samurai fighters, you know, and, um, and, and one of the things that really struck me is, is that, you know, when you're fighting these samurai, the samurai, they never all come out to, you know, you know, at the same time. There could be five of them, but they all never come out at the enemy at the same time. They line themselves, you know, and position themselves in certain places along that line that the opponent will be fighting them. And you know what they do? They send in the weakest samurai first. So, 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 so you fight against the first samurai and, and you defeat that samurai with all those swords and, you know, you know, and, and you fight them and, you know, so you, you overcome one of them and then, but you see, just around the corner, rise another samurai who is even stronger with his sword. Hallelujah. So you always have to anticipate that once you have overcome one of them, just around the corner, there will be another samurai coming up. Hallelujah. Up until they see it showing up, then you know you have overcome the whole team. You see, our race, our faith race, our walk, in life, in, in, in the life of faith, it's just like that. We must anticipate these some lies that the enemy is going to throw up around the corner here and there. It is all right because we expect victory. And that is the character to continue. Just because the samurai has shown up around the corner and trying to stop you from getting to where you are going does not mean that you should go back or you should give up. God has equipped you and I with the weapons of faith faith for us to be able to continue and become what God wants us to become in 2021. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So you shall become when you develop the character to continue because you will not pull back. And, and, and there's something very interesting in this scripture that we've just laid in the Matthew 13, 21. Look there. It says, and, and they, they, when trouble and persecution comes, because of what? Because of the word. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, because of the word. Did you know that believing the word in itself puts pressure on you? Did you know that just being a believer, believing the word itself puts pressure on you? Because your family, your friends, your peers, and, and, and all, they'll begin to mock you against the very word that you are believing. Believing the word brings pressure on us. I have ministered so many friends of mine in ministry, and this is my own experience in more than 30 years of ministry. Hallelujah. God put me in ministry when I was 18 years old. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And I'm, I'm closing in in the mid 50s now. Glory be to God. So if you do your maths, you'll see how much I've been in the frontline ministry all over the world. And I have come to realize and to know that there's a difference in the kind of challenges and the persecutions and troubles I used to get before I became a Christian and when I became a Christian. And particularly when God put me into ministry. I have come to realize that there's a lot of trouble and persecution that has been attracted to me because of the word. Hallelujah. Maybe let me speak this word to somebody who's watching right now and God has called you to go into ministry. Brother, sister, I want you to know the word of God that you are believing will attract persecution and trouble to your life. Be prepared. Be prepared to face up with this. And that's the reason why 
like today God is bringing this word to you to develop the character to continue. The very fact that you've made a decision to believe God and to take God at his word, at his promises, will attract trouble and persecution. And those are not my words. These are the words of Jesus himself to the disciples in Matthew 13, 21. And I'm sure the Lord would have said, I wish I didn't have to say this, but I'm going to have to tell you, because of the word, because of me in you, you shall have trouble. Glory to God. But we are of those who overcome. We expect victory. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Woo. So I have seen and I've met people says, you see, ever since I stepped in ministry, I've had all this opposition. All my friends have turned against me. You see, every, my, even my own family, because of what I'm believing God for, they, listen, they don't understand the race you are running. You are running a race of faith. They don't have an idea. Only you and your God knows. Glory be to God. So this trouble, this persecution will come unto you. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I am looking at a teacher right now who's saying, who's saying, Apostle, you're saying the truth. The moment God called me into the ministry of teaching, hallelujah, I don't even know where these troubles are just are coming from. Well, it is the word in you, teacher, that is bringing all this trouble. Jesus said it, hallelujah. We have something in us that provokes and irritates the enemy. Somebody, child of God, be excited about what you have in you. It irritates the enemy. It upsets the enemy. Oh, hallelujah. And he goes around looking for this demon there and that demon there and that prosperity there and that power there. All the some lies that he has in his life. He goes around and, 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 and mobilizes them to come up against you. But look what? You have the sword of the spirit and you just go shoo, 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 shoo. And you go right through them and you will become and you will complete your race. Hallelujah, somebody. I am so excited to bring this encouragement to you. Developing the character to continue. It's a principle of success. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So very quickly, character number one. Hallelujah to continue. The character number one I have is getting up when you fall. <laughs> getting up when you fall. Character number one to continue that you need to develop. You must develop this character of getting up when you fall. And let me just make this very clearly right now. I am not here to preach falling. Hallelujah. But I will show scriptures in the word of God. Glory be to God. That God is saying to us, my child, I have no problem with you stumbling here and here and there. But one thing I'm putting in you, and one thing I want you to know, is the character to get up when you fall. Hallelujah. And when you develop this character to get up and when you fall, you will begin to run and the falling will begin to reduce and you begin to be more consistent. You begin to become a master at your race. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Come on, somebody. We can all remember when we are learning how to walk. You know, you fell off, you know, you fell down so many times, but you got up and you kept going and you could realize eventually that the number, you, number of times you are falling over was reducing as you started mastering your rest. Glory be to God. Character number one, getting up when you fall. Don't stay on the floor. I call this doing the mic. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. I, you know, getting up when you fall, I call it doing a Micah. Hallelujah. This is what uh, Micah 7 verse 8 says. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemies. <laughs> oh, how about looking into the eyes of the enemy right now where you are and say, Enemy, <laughs> rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. When you do that, when I fall. 
so I shall arise when I sit in darkness. The Lord shall be a light unto me. Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. How about that? This is what I call doing a mic. Glory be to God. That when you fall, tell your enemy, enemy, don't grout. Don't rejoice. Don't celebrate. For when I fall, <laughs> whoo, when I fall, I shall arise. Now let me just say something here. You see the Bible, the Holy Spirit puts these words in these scriptures for a reason. You see, you might stumble because Jesus says there will be trouble that will come our way to try to, to distract us. So that's why the scripture says when you fall. So it's not an if. It anticipates it to happen. But God expects you and I to arise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God expects you and I to arise, to get up when you fall and you ever get to fall hallelujah so this is the character that you need to develop do the mic hallelujah so enemy <laughs> don't celebrate this is the mistake that the enemy has kept doing all along the bible says that if they had known they would not have crucified him look at how the enemy celebrated those three nights they thought that uh, it was all over hallelujah they forgot that jesus had said to them that after three days i shall arise glory be to god you shall arise let me say something right now the bible says that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. That same spirit is in you and I. Glory be to God. Many times when we read that scripture, we are, it's not even in my nose. God has just brought this scripture into my spirit right now. It's a revelation unto you. Sometimes when we read that scripture, we always refer it to the day of resurrection. Of course, we are resurrected. We shall arise. But the Bible says the same spirit that raised Jesus Jesus from the dead is a resident in you and I. What do you think he's doing in you? He's causing you to arise when you fall. Hallelujah. So it's not just about you. It's about the power of God that is inside of you to cause you to get up when you fall. You belong to the arising group of people on the surface of the earth in the name of Jesus. Because of the spirit of God that is inside of you and I. Hallelujah. You see, let me just share this little testimony. As I was preparing this message, and I'll show you something in a minute. When I was preparing this message, I got to this point where I really got into talking to God. I said, wow, Lord, this is, this is powerful that Micah had to say this. Where I fall, I shall arise. And I have in me the spirit that raised you, Jesus, from the dead. I am an arising person all the time. And I say, God, a thought came into my spirit, and that was from, from the Holy Spirit himself. And he said to me, son, are you aware of some athletes who have fallen during their race and they've gotten up, carried on racing, and they have run, won the race. And I said, well, I can't think of anyone. And this is what he said to me. He says, go on Google and just Google, athlete falls, gets up, and wins the race. So I went to Google and I did this. Oh, glory to God, I found so many examples. And one of them that really surprised me was this person here. You can see it on the screen. For those of you that are in the United Kingdom, this is our own British athlete, Mo Farah. And this happened at the Rio Olympics in 2016. So it's not too long time ago. Maybe some of you will remember this, that going to those Olympics. It became a big story. And I remember actually watching this, but I forgot. 
So it is interesting that when I was having this conversation with the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit says, go to Google and just Google Athlete Falls and gets up and win the race. And I was like, well, I'm sure I'll find many athletes that have fallen during the race. But those that have gone on to win the race itself, well, that would be interesting. But nonetheless, this is what you've told me, Holy Spirit, I'm going to Google. And I found so many athletes that fell and they stayed on the floor. But there were few that actually got up and won the race. And Mo Farah in 2016 was one of them. You can see the picture on the top left there. That's where he got tripped. He fell. But he got up and he began to run. He was behind at some stage. But he continued to run his race. And eventually he... You can see on the top right there, he is almost winning. Then on the bottom left there, he has won and is cutting that flag. And then on the bottom right there, he's got his medal. Hallelujah. He's got his medal. He got up and he continued to, to run. Now, on that very uh, page that I googled, I found another, another, another one which was even more interesting. You know, and because some church had actually taken this video of this young American lady who was running a race in her own hometown. And she experienced a certain situation where she got tripped, she fell down, but she got up and she began to run and she won the race. And this uh, group of uh, musicians, you know, the Christian musicians, they have taken that video and they've put a song to it and actually and put some scriptures in there which actually mirrors exactly what I'm teaching today. So I was so blessed to watch this. I don't know if this will work, but I'll, I'll, I'll try it in, in, in a minute. So uh, I'll, 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 I'll try to, to, uh, to show that and see if this will actually uh, work. I don't know if you can see it. If you end up seeing it, it's quite an emotional video. But so you can see it again. Well, this video is about so you can't you can't we've got we've got a technical issue about that so we can't we can't we can't show that again. We 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 I apologize for that. But this video is about a lady called Heather Dodding. And she was running her race. And eventually, somehow along the race, she fell. But she did not stop running. She continued running. And she won the race. And it became so emotional. You know, you can go on Google and, and you will find this particular video where there is even a song that is attached to it and it's just so emotional and it's so powerful getting up when you fall character number one to developing uh uh the 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 the, the character to continue glory be to god proverbs 24 16 says the righteous person may fall seven times but he rises up again, but the wicked will stumble in adversity. Look at that. The righteous person may fall even seven times, but he rises up every single one again. But the wicked will stumble in adversity. So what does this mean? It means adversity on our race will come to everyone. This is what the scripture means. But the wicked will stumble forever in that adversity. However, the righteous, they will rise up in that adversity and they will continue their race. Glory be to God. Developing the character to continue. Character number one, when you fall, when you hit a bump, when you stumble, when you're on the floor, just get up and continue. Hallelujah. It's never too late. Do not be frustrated. Do not allow the enemy to cause you 
to stay on the floor. You have in you the Spirit of God that left Jesus from the dead. And that very Spirit, when you agree with Him, when you say, I may have fallen, but I don't belong to the floor. I don't belong to the ground. I belong to my God. He will cause you to arise and you will continue to run and you shall outrun both the horses and the chariots and you shall obtain. You shall become what God has put before you. Glory be to God. So remember to do the Micah every time you hit a bump. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. The second character I have here is learn obedience. Learn to be obedient. Learn to be trusting. Trusting in who? Trusting in God. Being obedient to who? Being obedient to God. And I've got no one else to encourage you on this obedience than Abraham himself. So if you turn your Bibles to Genesis chapter 22, you have that scripture in verse 12. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And uh, are we able to see that scripture? Let me just put it on. Uh, glory be to God. Okay. I think we got uh, some. I've got some kind of a glitch in my uh, in my computer here. All right. Okay. I guess you can you can you can read the scriptures as we as we go along. Hallelujah. So turn your Bibles to Genesis chapter twenty-two. Hallelujah. So the second character that you want to look at is you want to develop is to learn obedience. Remember the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. It's better to set off, to learn the principle, to obey and to trust as you go along. Glory be to God. In Genesis 22, now that we are, we are reading our own Bibles, we can actually try to read uh, pretty much the longer uh, uh, version of it rather than just uh, the verse 12. So we can start from verse 1, and this is what um, the, the Bible says. This is the time when, when God, uh, you, know, you know, told Abraham to go and sacrifice his son Isaac. And in verse 1 he says, and after these things, God decided to test Abraham's faith, and God said to, to him, watch that word. And God decided to test Abraham's faith. I want you to know right now. That in this race of 2021, hallelujah, even though God is running with you, the same God who has put you in this race, hallelujah, he's going to have to test you. And that's why we are learning and that's why he's teaching us these attributes of the race, developing the character to continue. Abraham was on his own race of believing God. Just like we saw last week. So in Genesis 22 verse 1, the Bible says very clearly that God decided to test Abraham's faith. And God said unto Abraham, and he said yes. Verse 2, verse two then God said, take your son to the land of Moriah and kill your son there as a sacrifice for me. This must be Isaac, your only son, the one you love. Use him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains there. I will tell you which mountain. Verse 3. In the morning, Abraham got up and saddled his donkey. He took Isaac, two servants with him. He cut the wood for the sacrifice. Then they went to the place where God, God told them to go. Verse 4. After they traveled three days, three days traveling, Abraham looked up and in his distance he saw the place where they were going. Verse 5. Then he said to his servants, Stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go to that place and worship. Then, then we will come back to you later. Hallelujah. You can see Abraham is 
talking faith here. He's believing God. He's taken a few days. As he's walking and he's going, he's going, he's going. God has told him at that place, I'll tell you what to do, how you're going to sacrifice. So Abraham, you can see he's beginning to speak faith. He's told his servants that we will come back. We will come back. But he still has to go and run this race. He still has to continue going. Hallelujah. You can't come back before he continues the race. Glory be to God. Then he, he in verse 6, Abraham took the wood for a sacrifice and put it on his son's shoulder. Abraham took the special knife and fire. Then both he and his son went together to the place for worship. Isaac said to his father Abraham, Father, Abraham answered, Yes, son. Abra Isaac said, I see the wood and the fire, but where is the lamb? we will burn as a sacrifice. Abraham answered, God himself is providing the lamb for the, sacri for, the, for the sacrifice, my son. So Abraham and his son went together to that place. Then in verse 9 he says, When they came to the place where Abraham told them to go, Abraham built the altar. So he's continuing to do the things God told him to do. So Abraham is walking the, the race of obedience. He carefully laid the wood on the altar. Then he tied up his son Isaac and laid him on the altar and on top of the wood in verse 10. Then Abraham reached for his knife to kill his son. Verse 11. But the angel of the Lord stopped him. The angel called from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. Abraham answered, yes. And in verse 12, the angel said, don't kill your son or hurt him in any way. Now I see that you do respect and obey God. I see that you are ready to kill your son, your only son, for me. Then Abraham noticed a lamb with whose horns were caught in the bush. So Abraham went and took the lamb. He offered it instead of his son as a sacrifice to God. Verse 14, so Abraham gave that place a name, the Lord provides. Even today, people say, on the mountain of the Lord, that he will give us what we need. Hallelujah. Now I know that this scripture has been used many times to teach on the provision. And this is where we get the promise word or the covenant word of God, Jehovah uh, Jireh. The Lord will provide. But I want you to notice one character in here that caused Abraham to get to this point. He had developed on his walk of faith the character to learn obedience. Because in verse 12, this is what the angel said to Abraham. Don't kill your son or hurt him in any way. Now I can see that you do respect and obey God. I see that you are ready to kill your son, your only son, for me. Now God is saying these things to Abraham as if God did not have foreknowledge that Abraham who actually obey him. Why? Because in the beginning, in verse 1, we have seen that this was just a test. God, who has foreknowledge, knew Abraham was going to pass this test. But he still had to test him. So you see, on your journey, hallelujah, glory be to God. And this is point number two. What's in point number one? When you fall and you stumble, when you hit a bump, develop the character to get up and dry. The tripping will come from the enemy. The bumping will come from the enemy. But God is saying to you, don't stay on the floor. Get up and continue to run. Do the mic. That was character number one. In character number two, 
This has to do with God himself. There's going to be a test. There will be tests in your race in 2021. And they will come from God himself. Hallelujah. Why is God testing you? He's testing your character of obedience and trusting in him. For you will need this. There is a saying from people who fight the war. They say, the war is fiercest at the point of victory. Just at the point when, at the verge of victory. That's when war can become so fierce and so intense. That's not the point to give up. That's not the point to quit. That's not the point to go back. It's the point to be resolute to continue. It's a point now to call upon your character to continue and just beyond the dawn. The darkest hour is what they call dawn. Hallelujah. It is at the point, remember what happened here. Abraham took a knife. It was at the point he went all the way. Abraham obeyed all the way. And it was at that very point of striking that knife into his son that the Lord said, Abraham, Abraham, do not do it. Do not hurt your son. Now I see that you obey me and you trust me. Oh God, as if you did not know that Abraham would always obey you, that he would trust in you. But Abraham at that point, he passed the test. Let me tell you something, child of God. There will be tests in this race. God is going to test us. But I tell you what, if you continue to trust him and do what he has told you to do, continue believing his word, continue standing on his word, even at the point of releasing that knife into the body of Abraham, God will come through for you in Jesus' name because he always does. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The race may feel like this for you right now. But you know God said, go. God said, get ready. Say it and go. Keep going. Keep obeying. Keep trusting. Hallelujah. Character number two, learn to obey and to trust. Because right at the point of victory, you shall see your victory. Keep obeying. Keep trusting all the way through. Abraham, Abraham, don't hurt your son. Now I can see that you obey me and you trust in me. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that may you hear those words as you reach the end of your race towards that go in 2021 at a point where you may even be staggering hallelujah you may even have stumbled but you got up hallelujah and you keep going glory be to God that you will hear these words my son my daughter now I can see that you obey me now I can see that you trust me even unto death I will now give you what I have always said for you to obtain in the name of Jesus somebody never give up somebody never quit somebody never stop believing never stop trusting never stop obeying God the rest will have a test oh glory to God Hallelujah, and one and five, no one. Glory be to God, and as you go on contemplating and reflecting on these messages, God will reveal so many things that you can do to develop the character to continue. I'm just giving you these three that the Holy Spirit gave me to bring into this encouragement. Character number three is renew your mind. Mind renewal. Mind renewal. 
we must always renew our mind. The world has a way of putting this. They always say, have mental strength. They say, have mental strength. Be mentally strong. That's what they say. Be mentally strong. Guess what? It doesn't work all the time. The more they tell people to be mentally strong, the more we are seeing people that are mentally weak, that are mentally ill, that are breaking down. I tell you, I've got good news for you. What it should be, or what you should be doing, is to renew your mind with the Word of God. Zap yourself into the word. Jesus said, if ye continue in my word, you shall become my disciples. In 2021 on this race, God is challenging us to be children of the word, that we will spend time in the word, meditating upon the word of God, immersing ourselves into the word, dipping ourselves into the word, getting our minds erupt with the word, hallelujah, and we will continue. Look at Romans, turn your Bibles to the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 13. If you have a Bible with you, 1 Peter chapter 1, just this one verse, verse 13. This is what it says, Wherefore, guide up the loins of your mind. <laughs> guide up the loins of your mind. Be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. What a powerful word. It says, guard up your loins of your mind. What does that mean? It simply means, wrap your mind up with the word of God, he says. And hope to the end. So don't look back. Don't quit. Hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Mind renewal. Renewing our mind with the word of God. Be ye transformed. Be ye renewed, the word of God tells us. In your spirit of your mind with the word of God. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 14 says, Stand therefore, having the loins get about with truth. And the truth is the word of God. Having your loins get up about with truth. And truth is the word of God. Get up your loins of your mind with the word of God. Hallelujah. Somebody do this and say, I'm wrapping up my mind. I'm just using this head because, you know, physically that's where the, the gray matter is, but the mind is a spirit. Amen. But we are wrapping up the mind, the spirit of the mind with the word of God. We are wrapping up with the word of God. You guess what? You are developing yourself the character to continue because the word of God in you will cause you to become. Hallelujah. This is what the world calls be mentally strong. But it's not about being mentally macho. It's about the word of God. The spirit of God getting into us. Hallelujah. The spirit of truth that brings us freedom in Jesus name. Wrapping up your mind in the word of God, in its promises, immersing yourself in the word of God. Make it a decision and a resolution that in 2021, in running this race, you will guard up the loins of your mind with the word of God. Oh, hallelujah. Make a deliberate plan. Plan to spend time in the word of God. Hallelujah. And in closing on developing the character of uh, to continue. Romans chapter 5 verse 3 says, Suffering produces perseverance. And perseverance is the character to continue. The character to never give up. The character 
to not stop going. It's the character to keep going, to persevere. So keep on hoping, no quitting. Hallelujah. Keep on hoping. The Bible says in Romans chapter 4 that Abraham hoping against hope. What does that mean? It means he kept on hoping. He continued to hope. Hallelujah. Suffering produces perseverance. There will be moments when you may feel suffering on the rest. But God is producing the character of perseverance in you and I. And that character is vitally essential to run this race. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is what Romans 4 verse 18 says. Who hoped against hope, believed in hope. He hoped against hope and believed in hope. What does that mean? Keep believing. Keep hoping. No doubting. Hallelujah. Keep believing. Keep hoping. And no doubting. Glory be to God. Luke chapter 9 verse 62. Jesus replied and said, No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. No one who puts their hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. Guess what you've just done? You have put your hand to the plow because God has crossed you into the race of 2021. You are into the race. You're not at the point of deciding to be in the race. You are into the race already by the grace of God. The grace of God has crossed us over. We are already running into this race. It's a joyous race. It's a wonderful race. Glory be to God. But Jesus is warning us here. He that puts his hand to the plow and looks back is not good for service for the kingdom of God. The race that you and I are running is not just your race. It's the race for the service of the kingdom of God. It has a testimony attached to it. There are many people in the stadium of your race who are watching you. And therefore you cannot, you cannot quit. Hallelujah. You cannot look back. They may watch you hit that bump and fall, but they watch you rise up and continue to run. They watch your obedience and your trust in the word of God. They watch the word of God pro produce fruit in your life. In the name of Jesus, the whole host of angels in the heavens is clapping and cheering for you to continue and to keep running. Hallelujah. And thank be to God who has said that we are those who belong to them that do, do not shrink back, who do not look back, but to them that continue to run until we obtain. May you continue to run the rest in 2021 in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. The whole host of angels angels is filling up the end the, the your stadium of your race hallelujah and they are cheering up for you god has pressed in you and i his spirit that raised his son from the dead we will continue and we will obtain the character to continue hallelujah it's an important principle as i said in the beginning for success the milk that we buy every moment from the store whenever we go to do some shopping we anticipate or we expect even to find a bottle of fresh milk that has just freshly been produced by somebody every single day we have that bottle of milk every single day we have that loaf of bread. The reason why there is no gap in between to, to the supply of that bread is because there is a farmer somewhere who never misses a single day to milk the cows, to feed the cows, to sow the seed, to produce the wheat. The moment they will take a break, there will be no result. It's a principle for success. 
the world also calls it the law of continuity. When we continue, we will become. That's why Jesus said to his disciples, those that have newly, newly believed in him, if ye continue in my word, you shall surely become my disciples. You will become if you continue. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I hope and pray that you've been blessed today once again in this uh, principle, the character to continue. Let me just pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you that you not only cheering us on to continue, but you have pressed in us your very spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. And the same spirit is resident in us. And he has raised us from our mortal dead spiritual being into being alive in you. And he shall raise us also on that day of resurrection. But he is powerful and active in each and every one of us every single day he is at work and he is raising us from every moment of falling every moment of stumble every moment when we hit a bump father thank you for your spirit of power to raise us so father i pray in the name of jesus for everyone that is watching right now and those that watch this recording, that may be going through a difficulty, that may finding this race to be grinding already, and they are trying the source of giving up the race or even stopping, even those that have been knocked flat to the ground. Father, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy resurrection to them right now. Get up and run your race in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. I literally see somebody right now. Hallelujah. I see somebody celebrating somebody. Hallelujah. Jumping around and saying, I am carrying on on my aspirations. I'm carrying on on my dreams. Enemy, you thought you had dashed my, my dreams, but I can see the light. I am carrying on. Glory be to God. That's the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. At work within you. Now continue, continue, continue trusting God. So, Father, I pray in Jesus' name. Bless your people, sweet Holy Spirit, help your people. You are our helper. Cause them that have stumbled to get up and run. Cause them that are struggling in, in, in their obedience to put on the spirit of obedience, to keep trusting, to keep hoping, oh God, knowing that ye who has called them is faithful. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that hunger shall come to your children to immerse themselves into your word and to continue in your word. For they shall know the truth and the truth shall set them free. Father, I give you praise for healing somebody right now. Thank you, Jehovah Rapha, for your work of healing upon somebody right now. Receive your healing. Take it right now in the name of Jesus. It's not just going to be another year. Hallelujah. It shall be a year of good health. Health is your goal. Run and strive and believe God and take it in the name of Jesus. You're not going to fall short. You will finish your race in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Rima Shakara Mandaya. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Father, I give you praise and the glory. Thank you for helping 
your people. Thank you for the character to continue that is developing in them right now in the name of Jesus. And I give you praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I hope that you've been encouraged by this fourth series of running the race in 2021. The aspect to develop the character to just continue no matter what. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise God. Well, thank you for joining in today and hope to see you again next week. Please continue within the week to uh, engage with us through our, our website platform. Hallelujah. www.sitfamilychurch.com And again, be in touch with us. If you need prayer, we will pray with you. Uh, but also pray with us. Amen. Glory be to God. As from, for everybody else, we always say at City Family Church, be led by the Spirit, grow in exceeding faith, and abound in love. Shalom to you, and we'll see you soon again. Amen.